mid-engine drift trike. It's been in my mind for about two years. I've been collecting tons of parts. It's finally time to build it. This used to be my old BMX bike fork here. I've got an old tree stand that somebody was getting rid of that we're gonna use to build the frame. It's rather thin. Looks to be about 16 gauge there. But I think if we beef it up enough, this should work out great. Got a couple map gas tanks that we're gonna make into gas tanks. I built this seat on my very first go-kart a long time ago. Still got it, gonna use it. John Deere seat suspension, perfect. And I got an old axle with some Harbor Freight wheels that we're gonna put some plastic on. Engine-wise, bought this overhead cam Honda off Josh for 20 bucks several years ago. Um, it's basically a 212, six horsepower, a little less horsepower there, but it's more vertical than horizontal. And for a mid-engine that's gonna be in between your legs, sort of, this seems ideal to me. So we're gonna see if this thing runs before we start building a frame around it because this is our kingpin here. Should be a rather cheap build. Got most of my parts here already. The only thing I'm gonna have to figure out is whether we're gonna have to do an extra jack shaft with a gear reduction, because we can't have too big of a gear back here. We'll have to do some playing around with that, but until we have the frame set up and things where it needs to be, we won't worry about that. For the very few of you who do not wear shirts, you now have a sale, $15 a shirt, or $30 for two shirts. That is a deal. Let's start working on the frame. Since I really only have a handful of pieces to work with, I'm being extra cautious on which ones I use and where, but I think we're gonna have enough. Yes, for the engine mount, I could have 100% used something thicker, something a little bit beefier, but I'm using what I've got, taking some scraps, and figured why not use this to practice some TIG welding. I wish I wasn't saying this, but I did in fact just use the Pythagorean theorem to find these measurements. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna cut these pieces out to fold these back pieces in parallel to each other. These are gonna, this piece is gonna come back off my engine mount like so. Back here is where we're gonna mount up the axle and the seat. So 
through the exhaust together real quick while I was at it. I also bolted up the original gas tank. I think we're gonna try this. Next part of the frame we're gonna build is gonna be this top section that come over, down, and around the engine. All right, so the plan was, I was gonna use these Harbor Freight 10 inch wheels. My buddy Austin, AKA Mower Cart, gave me these slides and the air diameter was 11 inch, which was not gonna work with these wheels. So he went up, went back to Harbor Freight and picked up these 13 inch wheels, which were only 15 bucks a piece. Can't complain about that. I was able to squeeze these in here. It was a little tricky, but these should work out perfect. Um, if you're building a drift track for yourself, these wheels would be fantastic because you can find drift sleeves online that are 10 inch, would fit these wheels perfect. These are like six bucks, I think, seven bucks maybe. For anyone curious, Austin went to a local underground drilling and road building company and uh, he bought six foot of this pipe. It's 11 inch inner diameter, about seven eighths thick, which is a lot thicker than most stuff you can find online. I recommend finding a local company, that way you can buy, you know, six foot of this stuff and have drift sleeves for days. Cause these do wear out, which is unfortunate when you gotta pay 50 bucks for two. So shout out to Austin. So I need to come up with a way to mount these First, I gotta finish the frame, so let's get back to that. So just about finished boxing this thing in and I realized it looks terrible. Way too square, especially up here. Um, I spent a day thinking about it. I got a few ideas how to shape this a little better. In my head originally I thought this top piece would be a little more round or at least have a 45 up here but due to the air box this is just not possible. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to see if I can rig up a different air filter um, just to cut out some room here. Okay, final decision with the engine. Got rid of the air filter, got rid of the gas tank. Gonna make this thing as compact as possible. The closer I move the seat, the skinnier I'm gonna want this to be going in between my legs. So this is what we're rolling with. Potentially we will figure out a different air filter later on. Let's get back to building the frame. Okay, I think I've compromised on a height for the frame that will allow the pillow block bearings to sit in between my seat suspension and um, also fit these huge wheels. They are pretty tall and I didn't really want to lift the frame this much, but that's what we're gonna have to do. All right, for the wheels, I've decided I've got these bushings here. These are a good press and in fit into the wheel. I've only got two of them, so I'm going to put them on the outside of the wheels. What I've done is I've drilled two holes into the bushing and the axle. Got some quarter inch rod that'll slide in there, and then I'm going to have a nut and bolt on top. I'm hoping that should do.
time to get the axle hooked up to the engine. I've got this old um, gear reduction jack shaft off a of mini bike. Made up two of these brackets well down to here, giving us some adjustment up and down. Let's get that welded up. Made this gas tank for a uh, previous mini bike using some black pipe fittings and a nip on the bottom here. I could totally use this, it would work out fine, but I am going to make another one. Since my gas tank is going to be on an angle, I want the cap higher up. Let me show you how to do it. You're going to need yourself a map gas propane tank. You can pick up some fittings, probably at any hardware store like so. I've got these two here and for this one you are going to need some sort of cap all right went ahead and cleaned this up cut off the top got that all welded up make sure these are empty before you're welding on them um, got these pieces cut in half i've uh, cleaned up this little notch here so this can recess into the tank so now that i've marked the top this is the cleanest side we're going to cut out for our fill here and then start working on the fitting for the bottom. And just like that, we've got ourselves a nice gas take. The best part about these fittings is the threads will tighten as you screw it on, but they're not sealed tight, so you don't have to worry about a vent in your gas tanks. hooked up front brakes hooked up <clears throat> everything's mounted up i guess it's time for a test drive still a few things that i'd like to do but uh, first i'm going to make sure most majority of the things function um definitely going to need a chain guard in the future I need to build a rear bumper maybe make it a wheelie bar we'll see how well it wheelies if it wheelies my only concern really is if my gearing's too low I think we'll be all right. We'll see. A few moments later.
first test drive, failure. Second test drive was pretty fun. Obviously, I need to reiterate on uh, making this thing a lot stronger, but before the third test drive, we're gonna do a couple things. So I'd like to build a rear bumper, possibly with a little bit of a wheelie bar on it. Um, when I was driving this thing, it was, it was pretty easy to pop it up. I accidentally did it one time. I do have an adjustment to move the axle back uh, setting, um, even though I can keep the seat in the same place. So I'll probably try that. We need a chain guard, and I'm also thinking about doing, um, I guess, pegs for your foot. Obviously, the pegs on the front wheel work, but um, it's kind of a little bit uncomfortable. I'm gonna see if I can make something fit in here without being too cramped because I don't want your legs to hit the handlebars. I could always bend them up. But my axle mounting system worked, chains worked fine. Gearing, I think I couldn't be better with this engine. Engine runs pretty good. Might need a car clean, it's not idling. Too great. Yeah, let's get this thing done, paint it up, and give it a good rip. bar works. I also added this front peg for your feet up here. I don't really love how it looks, but it's way more comfortable than having to keep your feet on the wheel pegs. So I guess it's time to paint it.